What's up guys, I wanna talk in this video about the extremely great opportunities that we are getting in the market right now, which you won't get in a year from now and that you didn't get a year ago. So let's talk about the chance that we now get, which we should take in my opinion, because crypto could be a money printer, but unfortunately a lot of people, they, they print it the wrong way or whatever you uh, wanna make of it. So welcome to the FOMO factory. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on, and let's start real quick with the market because that's of course what it is all about. If Bitcoin is going to zero, then we can all apply it to the McDonald's and the whole world gets fat obese and dies that's not what we want so bitcoin has to do well for us not to die so um what's really important for bitcoin is that it did what it did so what bitcoin did is what we spoke about yesterday we closed above the all 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 time high not for the day not only for the week not only for the month but for the quarter so bitcoin had the highest close ever which is of course super super bullish if we do take a look at this white line that i've drawn this was the exact high we closed above it we even had a perfect retest so far and we're now still sitting above it does it mean we can cannot go below it yeah we could but the strength is there and it looks like we're building a new base right here all right so it looks to me like this could make sure that there will be a huge breakout um that's probably also what you see in the thumbnail right today but i want to talk about something actually a little different but it is very much correlated with this because if bitcoin does this then the opportunities that i'm going to talk about do this as well right if we look at the altcoin market also looking pretty uh pretty bullish to me what's so bullish about this well um first thing if we do look at the monthly stochastic macd you could see that it turned green a couple of months ago and that's usually a very bullish sign when it turned green over here we were sitting at six green months and even after that the real bull market actually begun now we are sitting at six green months as well and uh that looks very bullish also if we do take a look at the uh, fibonacci retracement tool you could see if you take it from the top of the cycle to the bottom of that cycle if i draw it correctly there is the uh let me check out which one it is yeah the 0 0.618 once we went above it we flew right this this upper uh, yellow line so color blind today this upper yellow line once we went above it we were going up hard for altcoins the well at least the collective altcoin market that was a 70 uh, 75 percent gain in one month that could be easily 150 percent on your actual portfolio but the month after we got another 70 percent and the month after another 53 percent and the month after another 36 percent that was the crazy that was like crazy shit. That was really, really, really crazy shit. But we now also went above the 618. Um, and also, if you look at the 618, we are retesting it quite nicely. Now, what in my opinion could still happen if shit really hits the fan, we have a retest to the 0 0.382 which is down around 32%, which is like 40, 50% on your actual portfolio. Let me tell you this. Is, this, is, is this going to happen? I don't know. If it is going to happen, buy everything you can not financial advice but do it okay that's like what i'm gonna do at least because that's the opportunity that a lot of people have been missing out on or if they just knew in crypto and they came into the market to be like oh everything is so high right now or the people saying like oh lunch pads are so expensive yeah bro you should have been here it wasn't expensive right now you're now here so if we get there take it as an opportunity but maybe we do not even get there okay maybe we don't even get there um and it looks very likely to me that altcoins are soon gonna follow what bitcoin has been doing and that's pushing to new all-time highs if the altcoin market pushes to new all-time highs that's 45 percent gain that's around the 2x on your portfolio right there's the top 125 excluding the top 10 but there's also a lot outside of the top 125 um, which may perform way better therefore getting to the point what you want to do in crypto player versus player how to be the winning player be somewhere invested and when other people invest in there after you, the price goes up and that's how you make money. So you want to be early. What's the only way to be early is in pre-sales, private sales, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, 
I've been focusing a lot on this channel and I've tried to give the community a lot of that. Um, one, by talking about launch pads a lot. Uh, we were in Cedify in around 60 cents. Great. But I also uh, started Web3 Wills, of course. Maybe you know it. It's my project. We collectively invest in these launch pads and pre-sales and you just take the Web3 Will token and get a share that we make from the, from the profits. But there's a third thing that I started and that's been going really well for now. And that's the Patreon. There's a Patreon link down below. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. Very fine. But we have been raising some great shit right there. We have been raising for projects like Monkey Empire, Evermoon, incubated by Cedify, backed by IMAX, Play Ember, one of the biggest projects uh, for gaming out there, in my opinion, and now Providence. Providence is... It's a bold statement, but in my opinion, that's the illuvium of this cycle. But I want to make this video right now and not, not to shield the paper, but really to give you an opportunity right here because there is another investment coming, um, which is an opportunity that I thank God, which I don't even believe in, that we get at. We can raise for the project Meta Exceed. Now, Meta Exceed is uh, one of the best gaming projects out there in my opinion what is meta exceed actually meta exceed is a gaming studio and a lot of people they compare it to like a, a gala for example the thing is though that gala has all these beautiful uh triple a games and they meta exceed is very much focused on mobile gaming right if you go to a lot of third world countries these people don't have a computer with like i don't know what specs you need to run a triple a game most people don't have a phone therefore crypto mobile gaming is an obvious play even i can understand that and that's exactly what they've been focusing on but they're also now finally making sure that gaming has nothing to do anymore with ponzi's right if you look at Axie, whatever, it's all a Ponzi, okay? There's money in that world and you take that money from somebody else and somebody else takes that money from you and at a certain point somebody wins, but that's because a lot of people lose. Meta Exceed is going to do this completely different. What they are going to do is basically focus a lot on Web2. And with the ad revenue that they make from Web2, they're going to take that money and put it into Web3. So they're going to make sure that a lot of new money is coming into crypto and especially in Meta Exceed, of course. This is what I completely applaud for. Um, I invested as well through Nexus from Hustlepedia, Crypto Banter, Journey. Um, and now we are getting the chance. I talked to the Meta Exceed team. We can raise for Meta Exceed, private sell uh, or the strategic sell as well for the patreon and this is quite crazy because usually there's a limit we can raise unlimited funds uh, it's not that we can raise a million dollars anyway i suspect something around 50 60k but all you have to do if you feel like i want to join this sale and other future sales you can check out the patreon very simple there's a lot on the patreon by the way right but if you look at this the memberships um everything from the fomo community has the private sales okay if you uh, you also get these private videos exclusive videos and way more and way more and way more you get to a private discord server right here where we have all these conversations and the private sales going on right there um you can choose to get the highest tier then we can get one-on-one -on -one calls so we look at your portfolio etc etc do check it out but if you feel like I'm only in for the sales don't don't make it hard on yourself by going to this or this or this only the sales from a community member is enough right this is another way um to 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 make sure that the community gets involved in these sales now uh why can we because we have a strong community on the channel right but usually these these projects if they are in the private sales stage how it works to explain it really quick is they say we run a race 2 million for the private sale, but then the individual allocation is at least 50K, right? So you as an individual investor might not have 50K lying around to invest in one single project, but we can gather the funds and we can do that, right? So uh, do check it out if you feel like, yo, I want to join Meta Exceed. Uh, you probably heard about it. If you feel like, man, this is my chance. I want to join Meta Exceed, do it. 
um, you can put a hundred dollars in, you can put a hundred thousand dollars in, whatever you want. But do check it out. They are also having their note sale right now. It is gonna get released on, uh, but I can't say where, but on a certain launchpad that I really like, and maybe even more. So they are very bullish uh, as well, of course. Now another project that is also uh, going on at the moment is Providence. Play Providence. Um, you may remember Alex Becker talking about Play Providence, and this is a game that I really like. I love their gameplay. I love how it looks. I think that this is one of the better games out there um, so we are currently also raising for play providence and this is pretty cool play ember play ember has the most downloads ever 120 pl million plus downloads how come you would ask like I, I you may never heard of play ember um i think most people did they have a huge following a lot of you know important people to call it that are following them as well uh, but how come so many downloads it's because also focusing on web 2 if you go to the uh google play store apple store whatever you look at a simple game to play and you're playing the game it'd be like oh nice game there's a good chance that Play Ember is behind that game. And now they are going to monetize this, right? And we have Monkey Empire, uh, which had a successful launch on uh, Game Starter and, 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 and some others, I think. I'm not completely sure which one it was. So we are now in the position where we can raise some good money for good upcoming projects. Um, and again, I want to make it very clear. The best projects tend to release around the halving. In the last halving, here we had the AFAXs, we had the Axies, we had the Sandboxes, we had the Solanas, etc. coming out. If they release around the halving, then you have uh, a vesting schedule, of course, right? But in a vesting schedule uh, that goes on for a year or something like that, in a bull market, yeah, that's great, right? Um, if you invest here and you have it during a bear market, yeah, then it's a lot harder. So we're now at this stage, although the chart looks more here, but if you look at time-wise, the having is coming right now. So we are here time-wise, right? So therefore I feel like, man, now it is the time. And I just want to let you know that we do this. Um, if you want to get in, get in. If you don't want to get in, don't get in. But all I know is these early opportunities in crypto are the way to do it uh very transparent i i for example participated in the in the pre-sale of your ai myself and that was a cent right the chart doesn't even show it but it was a cent it's now sitting at 18 cents and although it came all the way down from 70 cents right that was like a huge spike i'm still sitting at an 18x right you can say whatever you want but you cannot put your money into the open market right now and make an 18x tomorrow Unless you fuck around in the meme coin casino, but then you're taking huge amounts of risk. And with these sales, you know, the risk is a lot less. Like, yeah, of course, a project could fail or it could like not succeed in the way they want. But in a bull market, it, it, it's pretty likely that they all do well. And most projects that I invested in do very well. Um, and that's part of my strategy, the strategy that I talked about in yesterday's video as well. I have all kind of pre-sales running, private sales running, and I get money from there, 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 there. It adds up, get a daily passive income, and I can put that money into the crypto market again and make that money liquid and then get out whenever I feel like, hey, the bull market's probably over now, right? Um, so do check it out. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that MetaXeed... We're going to raise unlimited funds for that. It's going to be crazy. Uh, it's one of the gaming projects that I'm most bullish on. So I just wanted to give you this opportunity. For now, I don't have a lot of time today, so I want to wrap it up right here. Um, any questions, if you feel like, hey, I, I maybe want to join, but I need to know some things, jump jump into our Telegram. Link is down below. I'm there. It's free, of course. Um, and we'll talk there. Take care. Oh, yeah. Like the video. I don't have the sound effects on, do I? I yeah, maybe a little bit. All right, bye.